guys, welcome back to my channel. Myself, Dr. Hillary, and I'm currently pursuing my master's in prosthetic dentistry, crown and bridge, and also a part-time YouTuber. So this is the most common comment, or uh, you know, it is in my DMs that what I can do after BDS other than MDS. So continuing our what after BDS series in today's video, we're going to talk about biomedical engineering, very less talked about, very less people know about it, but it is a fantastic career option. If you have keen interest towards reach research towards, uh, you know, engineering subjects towards coding or so, then uh, this is a fantastic career opportunity and you will know more about it in detail in this video. Okay. So what we are going to talk about in this video, I'll give you a brief highlight. So in today's video, first we'll talk about what is biomedical engineering. We have Anoop with us and he is from IIT Bombay. He'll share that, you know, how is the curriculum, whether it is difficult for a BDS graduate or not, because he himself was a BDS graduate and then he got IIT Bombay through uh, his need score and uh, currently he is about to finish his course and also aspiring to do PhD, right? So uh, uh, yeah, and after finishing this course, what are the opportunities, kitne ka package mil sakta hai, what is the stipend during it, what are the subjects you have to study, all these things we have discussed in depth in this video. So I hope you will watch this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Also give a thumbs up to this video so that it can reach to more amazing BDS students like you. Any queries, obviously you can write it in the comment section because we answer all your queries. Okay, so now any further ado, let's get started. Yeah, so uh, Anup, tell me that, you know, after BDS, why you chose for something like biomedical? Okay, why not MDS? Why not join the clinic or, you know, tried something in dentistry rather going into the research and the engineering aspect? Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting question. So uh, in my BDS, I actually enjoyed a lot about basic sciences. So basically pathology, microbiology. And I was very interested in medical aspects of that. And at that time, I actually got uh, an opportunity to intern in a research lab. So that's how I got my research interest peak. So after that, I actually explored different kinds of avenues, how I can you know, take my research interests forward. So that's how I came to know about something called as a biomedical engineering, where you actually work on different kinds of healthcare problems using different ideas, uh, different engineering principles uh, to innovate for the greater good. So it actually uh, made me really, really uh, interesting to this, towards this field. So I explored and talked to different kinds of scientists uh, and mailed them asking how do we get into this and some scientists have actually been so kind to reply and they actually gave me a career path as in like once you finish your undergraduation there are different kinds of exams there might be exams in your own medical field that we might take in and then they will have their own institute procedure so just like that you know once i got that career path i act i only solely focused on this so i got to know that different institutes like iits they actually take need score so once i'm what was done with my uh fourth year professional exams then i prepared for need and then I gave the exam and then uh, I was able to get a good score. So I applied using that score to different IITs and then they called me for an entrance test. And then there was an interview. And after that, that's how I got into this field of biomedical engineering. Right, right. So this is a neat UG you are talking about. Uh, no, actually it's neat PG exam. So uh, biomedical engineering is an industry field. So since I've said that uh, we are working on healthcare problems, so different kind of people can work on healthcare problems. Engineers can work on healthcare problems. Doctors themselves can work on healthcare problems or different other field people can also work on healthcare problems. Right. So for each background students, they have their own entrance criteria. So if it is an engineering student, uh, say if they have a BTEC degree or a BE degree, they have to clear an exam called as GATE, Graduate After Test in Engineering. If you're from medical background, since uh, at, at my time when I applied for the exam, we did not have a GATE paper. So uh, recently they've introduced GATE paper for BD students also. There are two papers that we're eligible for. One is GATE Excel, GATE Life Sciences, and one is GATE BT, GATE Biotechnology. So uh, if not GATE exam, since you are from a uh, clinical background, then you can give your either NEET or AIM score, NEET PG or INI CT score. Based okay. on that, they will uh, put a cutoff and then they'll call you for a simple entrance test where you'll be tested based on your class 11, class 12 understanding of physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics. And then they'll call you for a personal interview to understand about your motivation, your interest, and what is your career path. And then they will uh, choose to give you a seat. So that's right. how the whole admission procedure goes in IITs and different central institutes. Right, right, right. Also, I wanted to ask you that, you know, how many doctors or dentists you have in your badge? Because okay. I'm asking because I wanted to know that how many opt for a rare option like, you know, biomedical sciences. Okay, uh, it's, it's very interesting. So I'll give you a data of the last five years. You had just one doctor. My senior batch had one doctor, both of them uh, being MBBS. So in my batch, I'm the only one from the clinical background. Uh, in my junior batch, there are no doctors. And in my super junior batch, there are three doctors. 
so what we can understand from this is that right. although there are people from medical background who are applying the people who actually make it to the final stage is very less mm. also even if students uh, mostly the students who can crack neat they always have a option of doing mds or md or ms and they'll have to choose between a biomedical engineering which might be very new to them mm. uh, and choosing something in your own their own field so a lot of times what i've seen is that some people tend to take md or ms or mds so that they can be safe because biomedical first of all it's a very new field uh you'll have to learn mathematics statistics uh, you might have to learn coding uh, you have to work on electronics so these are things that we don't have experience in so it might be a little overwhelming and scary to a few people so they might drop out but this is the people who are staying purely out of their interest or passion i felt that they actually find a lot of interest in doing good doing even doing phd in this uh, domain and then working in industrial academia and working on different kinds of uh, good healthcare problems which are useful for the society so that's how it is Right, right, right. So, how is the course and curriculum after you get into this? Like, it is a three years course, or two uh, years? So, M, yeah. So, M Tech program is basically two year course. So, first year will be course work. So, basically, you will be doing different kinds of compulsory elective courses. So, you will have some experience in electronics. You will have some experience in programming. You will have some experience in statistics. You will have some experience uh, in how to read research papers, how to communicate, and then doing different kinds of literature reviews, and also uh, experience in different kinds of subjects like drug delivery, biomaterials, computational biosciences. molecular biology so you will have a flavor of different kinds of things and your final year you get to do your final year project so one whole year is dedicated to project where you can you will actually work on a research lab in the institute you will collaborate with your team members then you will work on a problem and then at the end of the year you will uh, submit your findings you will present your findings and then you will graduate that's how the mtech program goes then there is phd phd means uh, just like the uh, normal phd you will work on a problem statement for like 4 to 5 years then uh, towards the end of your phd you submit your thesis and then you graduate so that's how the course structure is right 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 and during your course you are getting paid also right yes uh, so in mtech program if you are clearing gate or if you have need score etc you will get 12400 uh, per month if you are working in a, on a phd then you will get 37000 per month for the first two years and then 42000 uh, for the final three years so what is there to understand is that uh, the fees stipend uh, hostel and different other things you will be able to manage uh, with your own Uh, money so you will not have you will not have need to worry so much about doing part time work and different things like that so then you can focus on your research and like your academics right right and uh, see you are doing this course from iit bombay right so do you recommend any other institute for doing the same like if someone cannot get into iit is it okay to do it from you know private colleges or uh, deemed universities like it will also be equally valuable and um, Uh, what say like fruitful for them in the future or the iit is must to excel in this field uh in biomedical engineering so if for example if a student is looking for a corporate job so more than the institute actually your skill sets and your willingness to work on a real life problem actually matters so some of the key skill sets if for example there are different kinds of job profiles that you can get so iit is just a platform for you to learn there are different other institutes so some of the major iits that offer this course are iit bombay iit delhi kanpur guwahati roorkee uh, bhu there are different other good institutes also which offer this biomedical program including manipal srm sabita etc where they still take medical students for this engineering program uh, and even the placements are good so the placements mostly uh, they work on different kinds of corporate companies come for the institute students and then they sit for the placements during their a uh, penultimate or their final semester and then according to their skill sets and experience and the how the student is they get a job so iits uh, i accept that there are uh, good companies which are coming uh, to iits to recruit students but you can also expect similar companies to come in different other biomedical institutes uh, for the same so as long as you have the good uh, skill sets uh, you can get a good package and you can get a good job okay so as you have mentioned the package let us know that you know uh, what is the range of uh, yearly package after doing this course okay uh, so in my batch to speak of the median of the package was 17 uh, lakh per annum so we had different companies coming from japan we had companies coming from india so most of the job profiles basically revolved around data analytics data scientist healthcare consulting uh, patent analyst uh, also a uh, clinical trial specialist so this profile will more or less be the similar in different other institutes even if you are joining for deemed universities or private institutions mm -hmm. uh, also you can apply off campus so even uh, other companies in india you can apply for even germany us abroad you can apply so as long as you have the required skill set and the experience working in different kinds of biomedical uh, projects uh, the sky is the limit yeah the mm -hmm. package uh, would ideally be revolving around 8 lakh per annum to 10 lakh per annum and could go up to 40 lakh per annum 
right right amazing so how was your experience of uh, you know this two or three years which you have already finished like was it difficult definitely it is different than dentistry but uh, what do you think like a fresh bds graduates who gets into this can adapt well to the course and uh, this thing or it is a quite a steeper path so what i've really understood about the recent little graduates is that they are very curious a lot of students are very intelligent and uh, also uh, what i've not realized in my past is that students have really now explored different kinds of domain even without doing a degree some students have learned coding some students have gone into entrepreneurship some students have started uh, you know learning how to build medical devices and stuff like that for such right. students who are looking to actually have some formal structured education this course would be great so uh, it's not going to be that difficult as long as you follow a path where you learn to strengthen your basics uh, understand the fundamentals and then build upon it so in first year since i said you will be doing a lot of coursework uh, you will have that fundamental uh, strengthening also the professors are also very nice they are very helpful they also understand the background that we are coming from we are not exposed to these kind of uh, subjects in the past so they'll also be uh, helping you with preparatory courses so you will not have much of an issue as long as you are interested in this field and you actually want to do something here wow this is amazing <laughs> i hope my audience will like this session and uh, guys if you have uh, any further queries you can definitely write it in the comment section also give this video a thumbs up so that it can reach to more bds students like you and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video